slight word. Hi guys! $60? <laughs> you don't sleep on the couch. <laughs> Here we are. You are good! We headed to lunch, baby. Let's go. Check out the outfit. I just did it get ready with me. So stay tuned to actually watch that video and learn more about this outfit and my makeup and everything. To be mistaken by 5115, which is in Saks. Now, I know that the last time I was in this area, I said I would not drive my car here again, but we were close by and here we are. So, we are apparently doing valet and maybe that'll make things better. I don't know. It is also daytime, so my hope is that it'll deter crime. I don't know, but I know that I said I would not come to this area again with my vehicle and here I am. I do understand that. <laughs> here we are. So we, we we just we just outside today, you know what I'm saying? Praise his name. So we're gonna see what's going on. And I need to use the restroom. I haven't used the restroom. We stayed at a boozy for so long, talking, chilling, kicking it, and we were there since two and it's six. We were there for four hours. That's insane. <laughs> Cause this place is ten minutes away from the place. Oh, wow when girls get together one thing we gonna do is we gonna talk we gonna kick it we gonna really connect we gonna do all of the things and uh, i'm not gonna lie like <laughs> we have three bottles we have three bottles you know what i'm saying so and i just touched up my lip in a car by putting on this gloss this uh you know nyx butter gloss whatever <clears throat> so they turned in here i guess is this the valet area i don't want to see how because it's real packed. This place is very busy, as you can imagine. I don't... Ooh, are we supposed to back up? I don't know what's going on. We got a Cadillac turning... Up. Ooh, I think they're telling us to leave. Oh, no. Okay, let me go around. This is not working. Okay, so it looks like they're trying to turn back. And, and this doesn't help that we are in three vehicles. So it does not help that we are in three cars. I just went around. I wonder if there 
clearly a day party going on around here. I wonder if there's a valet. Probably not. <sighs> oh, there's faces. Okie dokie. What is this? Valet. Okay, here is valet. Do they do valet? Are you open? Is he going to say anything to me? Okay, so there is valet. Hey Siri, text Carmen and Cindy. What do you want to say? Come down more. There is valet at the front, period. Your message to Carmen, Renee, IG, and Cindy. IG says, come down more. There is valet at the front. Send it? Yes. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Great, thank you. How much is it? $60? Your message to Carmen, Renee, IG, and Cindy. Okay, where's the back? Come down more. There is valet at the front. Send it. Okay, is there? Yes. Is there somebody watching the vehicles? Okay, would we pay now or later? Message to Carmen, Renee, IG, okay. and Cindy. IG says, come down more. There is valet at the front. Send it. Yes. Where's my Done. phone? Oh. Okay, you take card? Cash or cash app? Okay. Oh, okay. Understood. Okay. Because that parking lot was full. It was full. And I think that they're valeting over there. Because yeah, he goes 60 in the front, 40 in the back. I'm like, you going to watch my car in the back? He said, yes. Girl, whatever. $40. I'm not walking. Oh, and there good he thing, is. And good thing you dished your blazer, girl. It's hot out here. I gave it to the guy. Where are you from? New Orleans, but where are you from? So I'm a doctor. I'm not coming out. I love it. So you assimilate to the culture. I love that. Okay, well, just say hey. Hi, guys. Yo, good morning. My Insta, listen. You know that I have Instacart and DoorDash and every single thing, right? Praise Jehovah. What setting is this on? Oh, it's on video. I like it. Nice and clear. I have all the things, right? First of all, shout out to my traps. Shout out to my clav. Shout out to my shoulders, chest work, slight work, okay? And whenever I go get my Instacart order, this is my Intuma. This was from Mexico, but you know me, I'm a Ghani and we went to my home. Anyway, so whenever I go get my Instacart order at the door and it's a black woman, I'm always like laughing because I'm like, imagine if she recognizes me. Like, I hope not, you know? But actually, speaking of, let me make sure I give her a good tip because then I'm always so like, hey girl, thank you so much. And then, where's the Instacart? Because they'd be sending you a message after to rate your order and and whatever. So I ordered, I'd be ordering a lot because convenience. Okay, soft life. Praise, praise ye Jehovah. So I ordered stuff to do my version of cabbage soup because I want to further lose weight. Hello. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't eat food to survive. I eat food because I need to. Of course, I want to enjoy it, but I don't think about food all day. So the way I see food is a lot differently. I know, also, I know y'all want to what I eat in a day and how I lost weight keto video, but honest to God, and I know this is not helpful, but I really didn't do anything fantastic. Sticking to keto was the key. And I also work out. I guess I can do a video on it specifically so that people don't have to search through to find this. I need to continue taking my, my Theraflu. My throat is still like, ugh. So smooth delivery. So I was doing research online and stumbled upon this weight loss video and I was like, oh, cabbage soup. I have heard of this. So I'm doing my own version of it. I'm not using cabbage because I want the health benefits from a darker green veggie. So I'm using kale instead. And then I'm going to use ground beef in mine. I'm making it a keto soup, basically. So I'm not doing cabbage soup. I'm making keto soup, for God's sake, okay? So I ordered those ingredients, and I'm gonna put it in my slow cooker. I was gonna do it last night, but I can't lie to you. I like my house smelling good. I don't want my house smelling like food overnight. I don't wanna wake up to a food scent. Now, clearly it's gonna go in the slow cooker, so <sighs> I know, I'm that person. I don't know my house smelling like food. I'm gonna make food, hello. I just don't want it to smell like food. So you know what I'm gonna do? I've already, I've already told y'all, and I'm gonna show you too. I am, I'm, I'm rendering, or what's it? Exporting a video. I just finished exporting. This is a video for IG. I'm going to show you how I use, I burn, I cook coffee on the stove to cancel out odors of any kind. And my house smelling like food is an odor to me. I know it's food, right? We're not comparing food odor to toilet odor, but you get what I'm saying. I want it to smell like my candles, not my food, not onions and stuff, you know? But I'm going to make the food, I'm going to make the soup, and then I'm going to have that later for lunch. I'll put it on high so it's ready for lunch. I'm going to put ground beef. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. 
and I got all the stuff so I just went and put it down and this video just finished so I'm gonna put the video on my phone and post it later the reel and then I'm gonna go make the food and then I need to work out <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and today is supposed to rain, although it hasn't started yet. It is definitely a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day outside. It's this video that I just finished. I mean, I edited this a long time ago. I just hadn't, I hadn't added the voice over and exported it yet. And I just did it. And I'm like, did I, did I already post this? But obviously I didn't. You know, Maddie James got a new book, honey. I mean, it's her first book and it's a new book. I ordered it. I have so many, Lord have mercy on me. I need to manage my time a lot better than I do right now because it is not optimal for me wanting to read. And I am resisting getting, what's that thing on Amazon? Audible. I'm resisting getting Audible because I enjoy touching and feeling books. Not only that, I enjoy writing in them, highlighting and things. And I don't want to listen to a book, like it, and then go buy it. That's a lot, a lot of time. I want to get through the book one time. I'm not doing this two times. So similar to how I have gone back to writing down my to-do list because I have a, a digital to-do list like a general digital to-do list. And I already do so much digital that I need the variation to then have something I can just touch because I'm on technology all day and sometimes it's just too much on my forehead, you know, too much tension. So I like to hold a book because I want to force myself to break from technology, break from the AirPod and just be touching and viewing something as opposed to listening and then doing something else while I'm doing it. I already do that with podcasts and videos and things. So I ordered her book. I have other books I need to finish. I'm still, I made my way through Miracle Morning and I'm, I'm glad it was small. Obviously, if you've read it, it's, a, it's an easy read. I'm still making my way through Crazy Faith. The thing is, I'm not reading it as much as I should. That's the problem. I should not be, I should not still have the same book in my hand month after month after month. It's insane. So certainly a goal that I do need to be more intentional about achieving. Because it's one thing to set a goal and then hope is gone. Hope is gone. It's gonna come to completion. Eesh, that's not how you say it. It's one thing to set a goal and hope it'll be completed. You can't hope on something being completed. You have to actually put a plan in place to ensure that it'll be completed, right? When you think of smart goals, I don't know what all the letters stand for, but you get what I'm saying, right? You gotta set a goal and then what you're gonna do to get to it. It ain't gonna just happen. All right, I'm just thinking out loud. So that's that on that. I did get her book. I I'm excited for her. I'm going to read it. <laughs> it might be in two years, but I'm going to read it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Praise his name. I have so many books I want to read. One of which is Profit First. My ther not my therapist, my accountant told me to read it. I'm like, <laughs> should I do the audible for this book? But I want to hold it. And if it's, a pro if it's a book like that, I need to be able to write and, and, and highlight and all this stuff. So, girl, I got to force myself off the technology you know for a few hours each day to accomplish these goals and i will do that i just ordered this diffuser from neiman marcus it's a joe malone diffuser it's my f one of my favorite fragrances velvet rose and oud there's a diffuser for it so i ordered it because i'm gonna put it in my closet so the closet gonna always be banging the thing about these diffusers is they're so strong and fantastic i'm like looking at me sure i'm in, in focus when in a very small area, you know, so. All the scents, you feel what I'm saying? I need every nook and cranny of this home to smell good. It is pricey, but <laughs> I'm worth it. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, and I saw that they, Joe Malone has ca car diffusers. I was like, not y'all. I already, I already have so many from Bath and Body though, and I'm like, you only have one scent, so I'm not doing that. All that I, I am down for the car feeling luxurious. My office is not as as tidy as I would like for it to be. A lot of things going on here. I also have realized that I no longer film in this studio. It's been several months. I don't believe that I have filmed in this studio since the beginning of the year. I could be wrong. So I thought to myself, should I make this more of an office, meaning less lights and and microphone and this, right? Like, should I make this an office 
right? Instead of studio, would I decide to come back here? No, because I'm liking being in the house in my videos. So I've been thinking, I mean, it's not like these, are, it's not like these things are in my way. It's not like it's an eyesore to see four lights, a microphone, an extra monitor, a tripod in front of me. It's not an eyesore. So I suppose I could still keep it here, but it feels odd to even think about filming in here because I normally do it in the living room or the bathroom, you know? So that's something that I am thinking about. Like, should I change this place up a little bit? I don't know. Like, I'm even thinking, do I want to still keep this rack here? I have this rack here to remind me of what I have purchased that I still want to create content with so that I don't mix up new things with existing things. Because then it further reminds me I need to use this in content. So I suppose I would still keep this rack I don't know. I'm feeling like I want to change things up, but then I'm feeling like, what's the point? Like, just leave it alone. Girl, anyway. Oh, surround us, my love. We need your love. have financial freedom make your own schedule live your own life and then balance the challenge of being constantly tired and not knowing when to stop and feeling like constantly feeling like you need a break and taking a break and then coming back to more work closing my windows because i'm cooking and soon we'll be leaving i can't leave my windows open Maybe. and it's letting in warm air and for god's sake it's just stuffy in here and I just had to pull myself away from the computer because if you know you know the work never stops there's always more that can be done but I really am adding more water to my coffee to help you already know right the coffee thing the work never stops and if I'm not careful I will never stop and then I feel frustrated and upset and although I can't lay here for very long, I'm going to lay here on my couch, which is so beautiful. It's really more so just an aesthetic because you know that I don't rest often. And when I do rest, I was just raised with what I do agree with is the understanding that you don't sleep on you don't sleep on the couch. You sleep in the bed, okay? So I'm not one to just be always sleeping in the couch. Like what? However, I'm gonna go on an emotional vacation right now and just lay on the couch. I'm putting down a blanket first. That is what we do, okay? <laughs> Only from time to time do we just lay on the couch without putting something down, but as a practice, a blanket does need to go down first to help preserve the white cleanness, cleanliness of this couch. Now, how often do I sit on this couch? Not very often. Because ugh, with my personality, I'm either working or working or either I'm doing something. So to just say that I'm going to just lay here is like, what? So this is good and bad. The good thing is with someone like me, I'm going to get stuff done. You feel me? Now I'm going to use this other part to, to put over myself. myself. With someone like me, I'm going to get stuff done. But am I going to take a break for self? No. And that is the problem. Okay, so, oh, not you, not you or in my anatomy or uh, uh, whatever. Y'all be doing too much. I can't today. <laughs> We're all ladies. We have breasts, don't we? Don't you have breasts? I mean, if you're a man, you have, a, you have breasts. Like, they're called breasts. And they call it what you want. They're breasts, honey. Girl, the internet was off earlier, doing some kind of wire fibers, fi fibers, but fibers repairs you couldn't call us and tell us you're gonna do fiber repairs 
you just want to all of a sudden decide to do fiber repairs so annoying are y'all too close i can't do it i watch youtube and i have stuff i need to put together there's always something to do there's honestly always something to do and i love what i do just the fact that this is always something to do so it's okay to be frustrated with a life that is good it's okay to be frustrated with it i'm speaking to myself out loud because even as a mom motherhood is for me the most rewarding I'm trying to take this tripod off the most rewarding gift god has ever given me i mean i have my life but motherhood is the utmost rewarding gift but oh is there a shadow but i can't ignore the fact that sometimes it is challenging so with what i do it is extremely rewarding and fantastic but sometimes challenging nonetheless all right let's see what's on the tell oh this angle sucks <laughs> let's see what's on the television i can't oh and by the way i ordered a new console it's white i like to stick with light colors with a touch of browns but not too much this black one is old i've had it for a very long time so this i'll be getting rid of the white console table will be more narrow excuse me more vertical as opposed to horizontal and it'll be more of a homely feel to me giving more leaning more into the modern farmhouse vibe that i'm going for if it's not already obvious so that should be here by next week friday and then i don't know i'll take my time and put it together and it should give a different look to this place fyi what do you think though right because i changed this months ago clearly this couch is new clearly the rug is new and this is just left over Mm-hmm.